Hey, my beautiful black people. Like I know, I know it's been so long since I did a lock update video. And I think my lock update video, the last one, I was at three months. But present day, I'm officially at seven months. Seven months locked up. Can you tell a difference? Do you see a difference? Because I do. Let me give y'all a spin. I'm in my guest bedroom, y'all, so bear with me, okay? <laughs> I'm sitting at the foot of the bed. Bear with me, okay? Hold on. That's seven months. Okay, so in between time, even though I haven't uploaded a full-length video, what I've been doing was uploading lots of shorts. Have y'all seen them? You know, they're cute, you know, fun videos under 60 seconds so I uploaded those in between Ooh, I snagged my lock with my nail but anyway um, they're cute fun short videos that I've been uploading to um, to hold y'all over so anyway today's video is all about my seventh month wash day and what it's like to wash locks being seven months so as I stated in my previous video I use the suave daily clarifying cleansing shampoo it's like under six or five dollars from walmart and then i transfer this into this bottle and i like to put essential oils in here whether it's lemongrass from whole foods or peppermint oil you can mix it with any essential oils you want to and this scent is so light that it allows you to do that to mix it so i pour this in here with whatever essential oil I choose, mix it up and I wash my locks. So I'm going to pause this video and I'm gonna show y'all what it's like to wash your locks when you're seven months, so. Before I get to my wash video, I forgot to mention that um, tomorrow, 3 September, 2022, Saturday, is my seventh month lock retie slash retightening appointment. And my process is I love to wash my locks before my appointment because I like it to, I love for my locks to be clean and fresh and smelling good. And my loctician, she placed me on a five week lock retie schedule. I used to be on a four week, now I'm on a five week. So that's tomorrow. And in my last video, I also mentioned that um, I no longer have to braid and band my hair. I could just wash my locks loose like this because my nappy 4C texture allows me to do that because these are not coming a loose anytime soon. See how thick that is? So yeah. So here's the wash video. All right, y'all. So before I wash my locks, here's a close up of how it looks before I get my retie done tomorrow. So this is how it's looking. It's thickening up beautifully. I'm so happy. Let me give y'all a spin around. And that's the before because <sighs> after I get my retires I always feel like a brand new woman always <laughs> be back soon All right, y'all, so this is my third wash. When I wash my locks, I wash them for a total of three times. The third wash is always the richest. It has the richest lather. So um, the third wash. And 
When I wash my locks and massage my scalp, I always use my nubs. Not the nail, but my nubs. So get up in my scalp area. And I wash my locks only just once a month. But depending on my activity level, how sweaty I may get, if I go swimming or get smoke in my hair from going to the club or something like that, then I'll wash it more than once. But for the most part, just once a month. That's all my locks really need, just once a month. But more if needed to wash the chlorine out or the beach water out or the smoke out. And it's a simple process. It's so easy. I'm so glad I'm locked up because wash days are a breeze. It's so easy, so simple. So what I like to do after my third wash is, even though this is just shampoo and my essential oils, that's it. I like to get my shower cap and put it over my head and just let it soak as I'm bathing my body. And after I'm done bathing my body, I'll take the cap off and just wash out the shampoo lather. It's not a conditioner, it's just a shampoo. And that's my process. So, yeah. And it smells oh so good, this lemongrass. It's so refreshing. <laughs> but yeah. Let me turn it around. Y'all see? Yeah, yeah, you can see. massage my temple area because they're the the thinnest the weakest area my temple they they've always been like that even when I had relaxed hair <sighs> with my nubs not the nail and that's pretty much it that's pretty much it so I'm about to put my shower cap on And then just let my locks soak as I'm bathing my body. I'm going to take this off, of course, my top. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> and then I will see y'all soon. Be back soon. All right, y'all. So that was my easy peasy simple wash day, lock wash day. Having locks, your life is so much more easier. I'm so glad I'm locked up. So this is month seven. So my locks are still wet. They're still damp. I do not towel dry my hair. What I do is I'll take sections of it and I'll squeeze it out as best as I can and just let it air dry. And within four hours, my locks are dry. So if I need to run errands during that time, I'll leave the house looking, looking just like this. But my locks still look good, even though they're wet, they're damp. It, I still look good, my locks still look good. And that's the beauty of locks. When you're locked up, you never have a bad hair day. And even though I do need a, a retie, my roots are thick and I got a lot of new growth, I still look good. I still look good. So leaving the house just like this ain't no problem. So, yeah. Um, so the next video you'll see will be of me tomorrow, Saturday, 3 September 2022. And you'll see me with my fresh retie. Like I stated earlier, I always feel like a brand new woman once she, Shayla, my lactician, once she reties my hair, you know, so you'll totally see the difference between right now and tomorrow. So hold tight. So the next video will be tomorrow. <laughs> this is my before. Stay tuned for the after.
I always feel so brand new after my lock appointment. So I just got my retie done. You can't tell me nothing. <laughs> I love it. All right, y'all. So that was my seventh month lock retie update. My seventh retie. And to be honest, the only thing I don't like about my locks are the white specks that appears in the root of my hair. It's like, it's the white bulb-like thing, but it comes from our, the roots of our hair. And like my lactician said, it's not unusual to have that because she gets them too. And she said, because our hair is locked, the shed hair has no place to go. So it gets trapped in our locks. So the only way to get rid of it is to detox your hair with the ACV, the apple cider vinegar rinse. But I can't do that just yet because my hair is still going through the maturation process. So I'm not there just yet. But once I get the A-OK -okay from my lactation, I am going to detox my hair because this white stuff, I'm not sure if y'all can see it. Cause it kind of looked like dandruff, but it's not dandruff. It's just from the roots of our hair and it can't fall out. Like loose haired people, like their hair can shed, but our hair can't do that. But that's the only thing I don't like. But besides that, I love my locks. So that's my seven month update. So. I'm loving it. So until next time, but I love doing shorts. So y'all will be seeing lots of shorts from me because they're fun, cute, and easy to do. So yeah. In my next wash day video, honestly, probably won't be until like month 12, you know, to celebrate my one year anniversary of being locked up. But Thanks for watching y'all. And like always, I appreciate y'all love and support. I just reached 500 subscribers. And when I first started taking my YouTube channel seriously, only had like 36 followers. Now I'm at 500. On the journey to 1000, I'm going to get there with y'all love and support. So share my video with people who you think may need it. It may help them out. And this journey is my perspective, my experience. So if some of y'all don't agree with, you know, my process, my journey, oh well, because this is from my point of view, my perspective, my journey. So, but yeah, share, subscribe, do all that. All the cliche expressions, do all that. Like, subscribe, comment. <laughs> so. Thank y'all. I'm about to go get me some food. I'm hungry. Bye, y'all. Bye. Mwah! <laughs>